Hello, I am John Angel, a Cloud Support Engineer here at the LOS office in Dublin. Today, I'm going to show you how to integrate an LOS Apps in GraphQL API with a DynamoDB table that has an attribute with JSON data. Let's get started. First, let's create the demo DynamoDB table and insert an item in it. After logging into the LOS Management Console, navigate to the DynamoDB Console. In the dashboard, select Create Table. Provide a table name and partition key. For this demo, I will use products as the table name and ID as the partition key. Defining the sort key is optional, so I will skip it. But you can define your own sort key if necessary. Go to the new table and choose the Explore Table Items button. Choose Create Item. Choose JSON and toggle the View DynamoDB Control. Paste a JSON document. In this demo, I'll use the following JSON structure. You can also see this JSON object in DynamoDB JSON format by toggling the View DynamoDB JSON button. Choose Create Item. We can verify the new item was created under Items Return. Now, Let's create the GraphQL API in LOS AppSync. Navigate to the LOS AppSync console. Choose Create API. On the Getting Start page, under Customize your API or import from Amazon DynamoDB, select Build from Scratch. Then choose Start. In the API name field, enter a name for the API. For this demo, I will use Product API. Choose Create. Now, let's create the DynamoDB data source. Choose Data Sources on the left panel. Choose Create Data Source. Now, under the Create New Data Source, enter the data source name that you want to define. For this demo, I will use Products DynamoDB. For data source types, choose Amazon DynamoDB table. For region, choose the region that contains your DynamoDB table. For table name, choose the table that you just created. You can provide an existing role that allows the AWS AppSync service to manage the DynamoDB table, or just let it create a new one for you. For this demo, I will let the wizard create a new role for me. Choose Create. Now, Let's configure the GraphQL schema definition that will allow us to access the next JSON attribute in the DynamoDB table. Choose Schema on the left panel. Copy and paste the provided schema into the editor. This demo schema has a get items query and it will return data following the format of the all data type. Then choose Save Schema. Now it's time to attach the resolver. On the schema page of your API, on the resolvers, scroll to the Get Items Query. Or in the resolvers types, you can filter by query type. Next, go to the Get Items field and choose Attach. On the Create New Resolvers page for data source name, select the name of the DynamoDB table that you created. For this demo, I'll select Products DynamoDB which I created on a previous step. The request and response mapping templates will be populated automatically with the get item DynamoDB operation. For this demo, it's not necessary to further customize them. Choose Save Resolvers. Finally, it's time to set our GraphQL API. In the left navigation pane, choose Queries. In the Query Editor, you can design your GraphQL query. For this demo, I will paste the following query. This query will get the DynamoDB table items where the ID is 1, 2, 3. To run the test query, choose the Play button. You can now see the return data on the right panel of the queries page. With these steps, you can query nested JSON data stored in a DynamoDB table from your own LOS Afton GraphQL API. And now you know how to integrate an LOS Apps in GraphQL API with a DynamoDB table that has an attribute with JSON data.
Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.